The Rebels Season 3 Finale Zero Hour is coming this Saturday. I'm extremely excited, and today I would like to talk some theories and predictions for the episode. Alright, let's just get straight into things. The first thing we know from the trailers is that we are going to reunite again with the Mandalorians. It's only been a couple episodes since we saw Sabine leave, but it seems she is coming back. Personally, what I think this means is I think that Sabine will be part of the Ghost Crew again, or at least the Mandalorians will have joined the Empire by next season. I think that, um, I think Sabine's mother might actually die, and the Clan Wren will, as a result, join the Rebellion because it was the Empire that killed her, and I think that will be the reason that that happens. I also think that it would be very strange for Sabine to return and then just to go back again. I think it makes no sense. So I do think her mother will die. Her brother, maybe. I feel like her brother has a lot of character development um, ahead, um, which means that we could see him as a part of the rebellion. But I do definitely think Sabine will be back, and I'm pretty sure that her mother will die. As for what this will mean with her father on Mandalore, I'm not sure. I think they will have to tie that plot up eventually. Um, potentially he might get executed. Now the next thing that we know is that Thrawn is going to be on the ground fighting. I think there is no chance that Thrawn will die. I think what will happen is that Thrawn will win this battle. I think that the base on Adalon is going to be totally destroyed and I think the Rebels of Phoenix Squadron is going to go and join the um, little group of Rebels that we see with General Jordana and Bail Organa on in this shot that we see from the episode with Mon Mothma. But for some reason I have a feeling that Governor Price, I think something's going to happen with Governor Price. I just think that her character is one that will die eventually. I'm not sure if it will happen in Zero Hour, but I think something will happen to Governor Price. Just a hunch. The next thing we're gonna see is Death Troopers. Oh hell yeah. I'm so hyped to see the Death Troopers again after Rogue One. I think it's very interesting that the Death Troopers are like the special troopers for like the um, higher officers. I think that's such a cool idea that now Thrawn gets his own Legion of Death Troopers and I can't wait to see them in action. What I really want to see is the Death Troopers going against Kanan, and then Ezra being on the ship with his cool space gear. That's going to be really cool to see. Which is a perfect segue for our next topic, and that's Ezra on the freaking ship with a space gear. That is awesome. We're going to see bloody Ezra with his saber and blaster and just going at it. It's going to be freaking amazing. The next thing I'm going to talk about is I think something that's very overlooked by people, and that's Bendu. Bendu lives on Adalon, and I think we're going to see Bendu die. I think there's a couple shots where we see Kanan on a speeder bike getting blown up and like Kanan fighting. I think Kanan's going to go try to talk to Bendu, and that's when we're going to see maybe the Death Troopers fight Bendu. Which, like, I mean, that's kind of the coolest sentence of all time. The Death Troopers are going to fight Bendu. Um... What would be quite cool is to see Sabine also using the Darksaber. Since we didn't see too much of her using the Darksaber, since in her duel she was using Ezra's lightsaber. The only time we've seen her use the Darksaber is in the episode where she's training with it. I really want to see Sabine using Darksaber against, like, troops. The shot where we see Ezra using his lightsaber and blaster, I think it would be really cool to see Sabine also doing the same thing. And most of all, I want to see Thrawn's master plan finally unfold for the end of this master plan. We know that he's wiped out Rebel Cells before, and I want to see him succeed in wiping out Phoenix Squadron. I want to see him just decimate it and see Phoenix Squadron only be like the ghost and maybe a couple other people from Phoenix Squadron. It's gonna be amazing. We know that Thrawn is smart as all hell. He's capable and I'm sure he will. And also just to appease those who love 
him from Legends. Personally, I haven't really ever gotten into Legends. I'm more of a canon guy myself, which means I haven't got much, I guess, experience when it comes to Thrawn. The Thrawn I know is the new Thrawn. I don't really know the old Thrawn, which I'm sure some people are going to get quite mad in the comments because from my last um, video about Rebels, I got so many comments. I got like 400 comments. I tried responding to as many as I could, but it was just impossible. But a lot of them were talking about Thrawn, how Thrawn better not die, and how, you know, he was so cool in Legends. And it's really interesting to me to see that people really love Thrawn as a character, and they're going to get really mad if, or I guess when, he dies. If you're a Thrawn supporter, or someone that wants Thrawn not to die until after Return of the Jedi or in the new trilogy, leave a comment down below expressing your opinions and why you love the character so much, because I'm really curious as to why he's such a loved character. Eventually I'll have to get to asking my friend to borrow the Timothy Zahn Thrawn books, because that's when I'll be able to finally see what all this hype's about. And to finish this video off, I'm just going to share some really um, cool Rebels trivia that I found. I think I might do this from time to time, just give a little fact at the end of the video just to finish it off. So basically, this scene from the last episode, Twin Sons, we see Obi-Wan going to Luke's homestead and seeing him running home after Aunt Beru calls for him. And that model for Luke is actually Ezra's Season 3 model just since it's so far away you can't recognize it. Um, the reason they use that is because Ezra is only one day older than Luke and Leia, so it's just something I found kind of cool. I really like how animation reuses props and things of that nature, just like someone would in a live action film, and I just find it really interesting. So leave a comment down below if you found something interesting about the video and you want to have a chat about it. I respond to as many comments as I can, especially the ones expressing your own theories, because I find it really interesting to read you guys' theories. You guys have some really good theories. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and make sure to subscribe to see more content coming out from this channel. The support I've been getting lately is absolutely astronomical. I've got like... 300 subscribers now. When I made my last video, I had like 150. My subscriber rate has been going sky high. My views have been bloody doubling. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm going to be making as many videos as I can as quickly as I can. So again, make sure to subscribe and I guess I'll see you next time.